adoption is really near to my heart because when I was two, my dad fell completely in love with my mom and wanted to adopt me. So that's always been part of my backstory. And then when I actually graduated college, my parents adopted two little girls from China. So I watched the love story that adoption is. Oh my gosh, just shake that tree. See? I thought it was like cool that like, we can have no, like a, another brother and one that can speak different languages and also have to, to get another sibling in our family. When he first came, I thought he was kind of a little bit annoying, but when he came the second time, it got better. And then the third time, it's getting better. And when we got married, Jonathan and I talked about that. It was kind of one of those you know, deal breakers. Hey, if you don't want to adopt, maybe we shouldn't be doing this. And he's like, no, I'm totally on board. We're going to adopt. We just fell in love with him. We really thought that we were just bringing him here just to kind of bless him so he has a great holiday. And it ended up blessing us. And I'm like, we better stop it. As our marriage progressed and we had children, it kind of was this writing on the wall where you can hardly afford the kids we had. How are we going to afford to ever adopt? He's just a great kid. He's full of full of energy, full of life. Timber! <laughs> hey, Joshi, I see you! This is five families, and my f real family is six. Well, the first time we saw a picture of him, he had the biggest smile on him, and they didn't tell us his name, so we started calling him Smiles as a nickname, but he lived up to it. He smiles all the time. Who's that? You and my dad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've always wanted to pursue adoption. And we're just thankful that at this point, we're able to do that. Financially speaking, it is a daunting task, but we're able to right now, and we're just grateful. To have somebody to protect me more. I remember when I joined Plexus, I saw that so many of the leaders in the company, they were opening orphanages. I saw that they had sponsored a rescue home, and it just spoke right into my heart. I thought, when I become a diamond, I'm going to do that too. And I don't think I realized it would mean that I would adopt a teenage boy. That's right before we met you. Mm -hmm. And I was super, super nervous. I was like, will he like us? What will he think of us? If I was having another baby, I'd want them to come to the hospital and see their new baby brother or sister. Same thing. I wanted them to go to our son's country, see what he grew up with, understand his culture, his food, his language, and be there at court when they said to him, do you want to be a part of the Leith family? You and Jules were like besties from the start. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jules? Yes. Yeah. No. Where's your fly? <laughs> you always fly. Not your fairy. Mm hmm. Yeah, he, he is still kind of in that honeymoon stage, I think, where every day he gets up and he feels like he's at Disneyland. It's hard to be like jumping on the family to family to family to family like this. Yeah. Because first, I got too much families, and this is first where I'd be in America. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have so many families, but this mm -hmm. will be your forever family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, forever, ever? Forever, well, forever, forever. Well, that's pretty dang touching. Mm -hmm. But we're not going to let you go. I'm not going to go away. I know you don't. I love you. I love you too, Mama. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs>